Is whey protein the best supplement for increasing muscle mass? It's been the gold standard for years, but what if I told you about something better? An essential amino acid formula proven to be three times more effective with currently 24 human clinical studies. Listen to this clip from a seminar featuring Dr. Robert Wolf, world-renowned expert on nutrition and muscle metabolism, as well as a leading authority on amino acids. Okay, another study um, for all you whey protein users out there, very popular form of protein um, that people use, uh, especially in the bodybuilding world. There's a study that says that the patented essential amino acid complex um, was three times more effective than whey protein isolate. How did you come to that conclusion? Well, the, the conclusion is by direct measurement, so it's a fact. Uh, and it's been reproduced in labs all over the world. So we know that it's a fact. The reason for it is twofold, one of which is that uh, whey protein consists, well, first of all, whey protein is not pure protein. Uh, it has carbohydrate with it. Anywhere, if, if it's whey protein isolate, it's 10%. It might be, if it's just whey protein, it'll be 30% carbs, which is un unappreciated, but, but that's a little bit of the fact. But the main issue is that whey protein has a whole combination of essentials and non-essentials. The non-essentials are not necessary. That's why they're called non-essentials. So that uh, uh, you get a tip off there that, uh, <laughs> that they're not the key part of the protein. So, that, uh, so right off the bat, half of what you're taking with whey protein really has no function at all in terms of muscle protein. The second aspect, which means that you will probably never get to the same level with the whey protein as with the EAAs, is that the profile of the individual amino acids in the essential amino acid mixture has been developed over many studies and many years of work to be optimal to maximize the stimulation of muscle protein. If you take pure EAAs in the form that they're in whey protein and compare it to the other formula, you get a doubling with just the formulation. So that the profile of the individual amino acids is half of the reason that it's more effective than whey and the inclusion of the non-essentials with the whey. So, so in the one case, if it was just the non-essentials, you could take enough whey. I mean, you see guys taking 40, 50 grams of whey protein. Right. You still will never get to the same effect as the EAA blend because of the profile of the individual amino acids. And in the study, you were using 3.6 grams of EAAs versus 15 grams of whey protein. Correct. And it was... Uh, just in, from a consumption standpoint, yeah. it's much easier to do the EAAs. Right. Yeah, no doubt about that. Which leads us to, <clears throat> the, you know, one of the probably the most significant c conclusions in the 25 studies was you really achieved the, and found the perfect balance. And I like your analogy of how you compared to a, a football team. Yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of you may be familiar with the branch chain amino acids or leucine as supplements. They get a lot of play. And we can, we can consider leucine as left, I like the quarterback because it really is the most important. It's the most abundant amino acid in muscle protein. It's an essential amino acid that not only you need the most leucine to be able to make a, protein, a muscle protein because there's more leucine than any other amino acid, but also it has what is called nutraceutical properties. Nutraceutical means a nutrient that kind of has a pharmaceutical action, and that is that it activates the process of protein synthesis. So it's real important. But it's like the quarterback of a football team you need all the players out there. If you have just all 11 quarterbacks, you, there's going to be a lot of sacks. Right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not going to, it's not going to work. And, uh, and, and so if you look at the other amino acids, some are more important than others, but they all got to be there. They all have a role. And uh, you may say, well, if you're a wide receiver there in particular, we'll tell you they're the most important uh, part of the team. <laughs> But, uh, but without the guards and tackles, the wide receivers aren't going to sure. uh, have much of a role either. So there may be some that you can point to specific roles that are in addition to their component of protein. But the reality is you need them all. And you need leucine in the most highest abundance because it has this triggering effect to uh, get the whole process going. My understanding is <clears throat> in the formula, one of the EAAs is only like 1% of the total makeup. Is that correct? Uh, no, I think it's uh, probably the smallest would be methionine, which is about 5%. Okay, 5%. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the reason that it's uh, low 
is this is where you have to come to balance. The methionine is important because every protein that is produced, the amino acids are strung along. They're a long string of amino acids hooked together. The start, the first one, has to be methionine. So if you don't have an adequate methionine, you never get started. Um, and, and it has important roles, uh, but it's a sulfur-containing amino acid, which tastes horrible. And, uh, you know, one of the things that you find that you have to come to some kind of balance between the optimal formulation and a formulation that people will drink mm -hmm. and that will be good enough that it, you'll still get the effect. It may not be what you would optimally do, but you got to put it all together into a mixture that, that tastes okay. Or else it doesn't do any good if it sits on the table here sure. and you look at it and say, well, this would be good if I drink it, but I'm not going to drink it. And uh, yeah. unfortunately, that was my mother was uh, very much that. I would put amino acids in front of her. I'd come back and about this much was gone uh, later. It just doesn't taste good. Yeah, I spent a so, couple of days at the flavor lab back in yeah, Chicago. I, mean, and it's, I think we've really made a lot of advances in flavor. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. I love it. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe. For Dr. Wolf's full presentation, see the link below. To live stronger at any age, visit myohealth.com and take the 30-day MyoHealth Challenge.